All right, bad advice this week uh, with Jeremy is going to be this is uh, at Sarah Burl, either Sarah Bear LC. Actually, that's what it is. At Sarah Bear, Sarah Bear LC. Uh, she writes, Jeremy, I would like your advice. I am currently in vet school getting good grades and have well over 200 hours of experience working in clinics. And I am all, I am certified to be a veterinary assistant. However, no one will hire me as an assistant. How do I get veterinarians to hire me? Well, first off, this is how you know a question's legit. Grad students always use phrases like, I'm getting good grades. You know, no shit, you're in grad school. It's kind of assumed, yeah, you're doing all right. <laughs> Typically, when somebody says I'm getting good grades, that's a solid B minus average. <laughs> uh, they just don't want to tell people about it. But here's 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 the problem. Okay, you got two hundred over two hundred hours working in clinics. Okay, that's that's a solid five work weeks <laughs> under your belt there veterinarians don't want to hire somebody who knows more than they do <laughs> that kind of fucking experience holy shit that's definitely worth bragging about i don't know why they haven't given you a field promotion to a full-fledged vet yet maybe even made you dean of the vet school 200 hours <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so you're going to want to leave that off your resume when you go to apply <laughs> if you're just so intent on doing this now i have no actual personal you know, uh, experience being a veterinary assistant, but I do have experience as a comedian. So I can tell you this, you're going to want to get headshots. <laughs> <laughs> Makes everything better. That'll ensure success for sure. So you're going to want to put that right on the cover of your resume. Second of all, you're going to want to look at what does a veterinary assistant do? Mostly they clean up after sick animals. So I would attach a long-form essay about how much you love poop, <laughs> the joys of poop, maybe give them some of the websites of your favorite poop sites. <laughs> Something classy, though. Yeah, really, really show them. And then maybe attach a video showing them how good you are at inserting a rectal thermometer. <laughs> show them how you can save them money by... Not using lube and instead just doing it with spit. <laughs> but really, that's uh, that's about all the, the best advice that I can give, I think. Um, yeah. Also, let them know that you don't mind seeing animals die. Because that's what, what really happens, I think, at most vet clinics. At least once a day, you're going to have to put an animal down. And if you find as much joy in that as a lot of people do definitely keep it up but i don't think that that's really going to be a problem because you're going to be a vet real soon 200 hours god <laughs> damn that's my advice oh, poor sarah bear